Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. For better or worse, here I am again. <laughs> the Flame and the Flood, a game I almost exclusively record for my mother's enjoyment. I assure you, this game is torture to me. Not because it's unpleasant, but I think I always went at it with the wrong mindset. And it's still there. And no matter what I do, I can never get myself to not, at the very least, play on, um... Survivalist, because I feel like the easiest mode, you're not even getting the full experience of the game. And again, I've mostly forgotten what the hell I was doing, but... Eh, it's an adventure, right? That's what makes it fun. Sort of. What we tell ourselves. Might not be true, but it's what we tell ourselves. Just gonna make sure to turn the volume up just a little bit. Pretty sure it's very quiet for the recording, so. There we go. Alright. So, I, I like survival games. I actually play them quite a bit. I just have uh, the tendency to not look at this game right, I think. I think my problem with this game is I always view it as something else, even though it's very clearly a survival type game. I always think of it as something else. Piss off, bro. Shut up. What I do remember is that it's very important to shoo those little bastards, because if you're ever on an island that's considered the wilderness, they attract wolves, snakes, and boars, and all these other things that want to kill them. So, my mindset now is the first thing I need to do is get a knife. I remember a knife is very important for a lot of things. Basic tools. Um, I can remember how to bring up the knee. I. Oh, I bring up something. There we go. So let's just. We need two flint and one braided cord. The cord from the cattail. We can do that. And then we need one more flint. I think I have one flint. I think he's got it from that box. What is it? What are you barking at? What? I don't have a shovel or anything. Is there something buried there? I never can remember all the reasons that he barks. But for now, we'll just get a move on. I don't remember if you can just walk off into the ocean. I'm pretty sure you can. That is one rickety raft. One very rickety little raft. Now this, I definitely don't remember how to drive. I do remember... So, I've played this game quite a few times. Right? But one thing that I remember I didn't figure out, or know about, I should say, for the longest time, is that you can actually slow yourself to almost a crawl by just holding S. The game doesn't really hold your hands and or, you know, go out of its way to teach you things. Something I normally am completely okay with. In fact, I like games that do that. But in this one regard, that was something that evaded me for a while because, well, the raft has no rudder, it has no sails, so I didn't even think for a second we were in any control of our speed. I think we would, I always thought we were just at the mercy of the rapids, which, I mean, look at our little dinky boat we're on. It's a piece of shit. So, I was 90% sure that you just were at the mercy of the waters. But, yeah, you can actually slow yourself down to help, you know, possibly make decisions or loot things like that. Or, you know, have more time to steer around little islands like that. And I, I, I wish I had known that the first few times I played. But that's okay. I feel like every time I boot this damn thing up, it's another little learning experience. You know, slow ourselves down so we can loot that. There we go, we got a bandage. I feel like if I gave the game a fairer shot, you know, I didn't go into it so already unhappy with what I'm doing. Because, I mean, look at all this good stuff we're getting just from the little things on the islands. I don't... I, I, I really never was able to loot those little things because I always was going too fast. Like, always. So I was never able to, like, scooch up to them like that and snatch it. 
Okay, if I remember correctly, campsites are very good places to go. So we're gonna, gonna go over there and see what we can get. You. Okay, that's if we uh, actually completed a quest and had something to turn in, which we know. Moving right along. Oh, rabbits. Uh, we have no snares yet, so not too useful to us. I have figured out the trick to those, though. Um, you simply need to plant them and go away. You know, like, it, you basically leave it where you last saw rabbits, and then leave. And you will basically come back to a rabbit. And, wow, all right, we already got the flint we needed, that's awesome. Make our knife. That'll give us access to making a few other things. Don't need a bandage yet, I'm not going to make it until I need it. That's how I'm going to go about this for now. But anyway, let's keep gathering materials. We don't need sleep just yet. Not sure what diamond's barking at. So, let's see. I don't know what I need to craft beer. I think I need just sticks and things to be able to, like... Craft the snares? Not sure. Um, let's see. Crafting menu. To craft. Oh, I don't even have them unlocked yet. Goodness. Uh, it's just a little trap. Pretty basic. Yes, yeah, me. Rabbit pelts and all this. I, I, I don't need to see all of it. I just need to see. Goodness. Ah, uh, flying fuck. Where is it? Alright, well, we'll figure that out later. Don't want to waste too much daylight. Just gotta sit here for a second. I know some things, uh, crafting them are only unlocked when you're at a fireplace, but... Tools. Oh, okay, I... Oh, okay, that'll give me a campfire. So I also need to make a hammer. Right. So let's let's do that, actually. Let's make the inventory. Let's make our braided cord. What else do I need? I need... Oh my goodness, I need a lot. I need one more flint. Damn. That is unfortunate, because I think... Well, I mean, we needed both to complete the quest set, but... It just sucks that there wasn't a little bit more flint here on the island. We're not that tired, and I think using the rest of the day will probably be a better investment of our time. It's not that dark yet. Oh, sapling. Thank you. Sucks that we can't catch some of all these uh, delicious looking rabbits. We don't have the tools. Well, this is our first stop, so we're not gonna. I'm not gonna expect too much out of it. Also, I gotta remember I can sprint. I can run. Save us a little time if I get a move on. Alright. So, I guess we'll go ahead to this wilderness spot. I'm a little nervous about wilderness because that's where wolves can show up. But I think as long as we don't let any crows start yelling, should be fine. Maybe. Possible. Probably not. Not sure. We'll see. But this is also a good place to get some of the materials I need. So let's just keep our eyes out for crows. And we'll just loot and scoop. Get what we need. Ah, oh, there's that flint. Alright, cool. That's our flint. So far so good. Extra rags, always a good thing. Especially if a wolf shows up and I start getting mauled. Let's go ahead and get that. It's getting dark, so I think wolves come out at night, but we'll be ready to bolt. We're not going to mess with the wolf right now. I'm not even going to, like, toy around with it. If I see one, I'm just going to head out. But for now, we'll just keep looting. You know, call it silly, but I hate that the water... Or, sorry, the water. That the, um... That the music is always so pleasant. 
I, I wish that the music would change if like danger was near or something because you get kind of caught up in the nice pleasant little tunes and there's a bear you know around the corner waiting to eat your face or like a wolf chasing you down the street so you're basically running for your life to this wonderful little banjo music which I gotta admit I fucking hate but that's just me I'll leave it on in case the docile tunes of it give anyone even a moment of enjoyment but know this I don't care for it how do I... Oopsie. Okay. Inventory. Hammer. I have a hammer. I can also make some pants. That's probably good because I'm probably going to be start getting very cold very soon. So let's go ahead and put on my pants. Did I just automatically put them on? No. How do I equip them? Equip pants. There's a loading bar for equipping pants. I mean, I guess putting on pants takes a minute, so fair enough. Okay, so we have those things. I, I also want to access my wrap inventory, but we'll do that at the next stop. I don't want to load myself up with too much. Unless I run into a cache of goodies and not be able to carry them yet, because I'm all full up. Oh, let's use that slowdown so we can turn. There we go. I feel like the raft turns better when you do slow it too. It like literally turns almost on a dime when you're slowing it. I'm also wondering, yeah, my, one of my main problems is it would help if I just looked up a lot of things, right? But I'm just kind of rude. Don't want to crash our car, but I do want those goodies. And that's, oh, there we go. See, hey, right, look at that. I mean, we almost came to a dead stop. Perfect. I mean, that alone is going to make life so much easier, right? Because I can save myself so much damage by not crashing into things, trying to make it different places. Just having more control over my raft is already a huge improvement in our gameplay. So let's go here. And make this... See? Oh my goodness. I don't think I ever would have been able to make that turn uh, when I was playing before. Because, like, the, the boat, you can't really tell by looking at it, but it's very resistant to turning when you have too much speed. Let's see. Okay. Campfire from that. Can we get another task? Handyman. What does that want us to do? How do, I, how do we do that? Handyman. Visit a hardware store. That's it? I just need to go to Home Depot? Okay. Thank you, Puppet Schnup. Oh, I forgot to store stuff. Oh, that's okay. It's coming too much on here, you think? I know dandelions are good for tea. What's the matter? What? I know there's things all over the place. You don't have to bark all the time. I believe she's always trying to notify you when there's still stuff to gather. Yeah. Ill-equipped cured. Oh, for the cult. No, shut up! Shut up! You shut up! Both of you, shut up! Shut up! God. Them crowing is exactly what will attract the wolves. I don't know if they can show up at campsites like this. Not sure, but I'm not trying to chance it. So we'll cook up some yucca. I am getting rather hungry. So I just cook yucca? Do I... Cook yucca. I, ooh, okay, so we probably want to craft this just because I remember wolves are scared of fire. Wolves are scared of fire, so we're going to keep that on us. Just but Oh, shit. We must find shelter, dog! Just sleep in here. We'll eat in the morning. It's raining even worse than when we went to bed. Back inside. 
the hell of a storm that, you know, lasted for four hours. Oh, man, did we just mess ourselves up? We're probably starving by now. Yeah, we're very much hungry. But shut the fuck up! What's the matter? What? Oh, garlic! Oh, good dog. Is there more? Okay, I think if she barks and you walk at her, she leaves you to stuff, maybe? Not sure. Um, can I cook that garlic? Well, first, first thing first, let's eat. Let's cook Yoko. We got this, these mulberries. Let's go ahead and consume, I guess, the stack. See how much that's for. Not much. Uh, there's my cooked yucca. Let's go ahead and eat one of those. That's better than nothing. Having to sleep through that storm kind of dented us a little bit. We burned through a lot of hunger. Having to sleep. Is that more yucca? Nope, it's dandelion. It's alright. Oh, more rabbits. I really wish I knew how to craft. I forget how to unlock. Oh! Hey, what's up? I want that aloe vera, though. I, I'm getting this aloe vera one way or the other. These mulberries. Barking at. Craft inventory available. There's got to be a shortcut to bringing that up. Okay, there's the raft. Let's go ahead and put this lumber on there. Let's put our nuts and bolts. Uh, we'll keep our jar on us. Don't think we have a use for the fishing line. Uh, let's keep our feathers. We need our sapling for making cord. We need that for medicinal purposes, but not on us. Don't want Daisy's inventory getting full, so we'll take the onion off because so we don't really know what to, or sorry, garlic. Onion, garlic, same stuff. We'll keep the mulberries, because that's just extra food. We're not making those traps yet, so we don't need the trumpet. And we'll keep the rags, in case we need it to make a bandage. Uh, I believe I used my alcohol. Not sure what I used my alcohol. We'll have Daisy carry the aloe vera. Okay. Let's move on to the next island. Boat. Oh, wait, right. Uh, there we go. And we're off. Okay. Uh, that's a repair shop, I think. Wait a minute. We might be able to scooch. Oh, wait, that's to repair a boat. Yeah, we don't need to go there. We need to go to a repair shop. There's a fishing store over there. Some wilderness. If we do this right, we might be able to go to both. Roy's Rest. Shut up. You shut up, dude. Go away. Dad, ow! Ow! I didn't see the ants. It's too dark. Oh, that's what all the little holes mean. Okay. Well, there are worse things in this world than ants. Go away. Fish hooks. We got fish hook and a fishing line. So maybe we can make a fishing pole. I think that's a thing in this game. I don't see why we would have a fishing line and a fishing hook and not be able to make a fishing pole. I need a good stick, though. Kind of nervous about trying to get that. They're just dandelions. Don't worry about it, pup. Come away from the ants. Let's see. What the crafting? We can make a stitching kit. I want to do that. Yeah. Man, I really... I don't understand why I still have the traps locked. How do I make traps? 
Uh, it seems like I remember that being one of like the earliest things you learn. Here we go, box trap. Collect all the ingredients to unlock this recipe. I have all of those ingredients. One more breaded corn? Like, oh, okay. Go get another corn, ow. More. All right, so we need to get to that wilderness. It is nighttime, might be a dangerous stop, but. The, um, the first few, like, blocks of the world, because basically the game breaks down into sections, the first few sections that you float through, I feel are the ones that are technically being the nicest. So we really need to use these sections preciously and try to get as much done here as we can while they're mostly being easy on us. <clears throat> I also think there's a bit of RNG, which is just, you know, random number generating things that the game just kind of decides on its own you can't really impact but impact it where um some of the islands just suck sometimes you just get a bad roll because the game is slightly procedurally generated if i'm not mistaken which uh simply means again the computer creates a random world when you when you make your world and it may be a good world full of materials lush with supplies or it'll be a bad world that doesn't have jack shit in it and you Starved to death in a corner, cold and alone in the first day. These things happen. Plenty of mulberries. Getting very thirsty. Not 100% sure how to do that right now. We can't just drink the river water, I don't think. We need one of those water pumps to fill our jar. We don't hear missing. Got some over there. No, don't go. Don't go into that. Those are vines. Stay away from that. Or not vines. Or... Well, there's something. They're pointing. Pointing is bad for us. Okay, so I think I have enough to make one breaded cord. No? Oh, I need a cattail. I haven't seen a cattail in like four stops. Which is kind of what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes you just get really bad luck. And it's hard to get get going with what you got, you know? Because, I mean, right now, all I want to do is make a breaded cord. But we've come across so little cattail that we can't even do that. It seems like a relatively simple thing. But we'll, we'll come across it sooner or later. Let's put our fishing line on there. Put our nuts and bolts in the stack. Got to keep ourselves organized. We need one more. Keep our campfire there. Keep our rags. Keep our yucca because it's one of our only sources of food right now. Keep our torch and our saplings. All right, moving on. Let's go to as many stops as we can. We got another stop over here in this uh, wilderness. I think we're trying to fight the current, though, and I don't think that happens very easily. I don't think I finished my thought earlier, because I was saying that I think the lines of the the way the water is flowing dictate, or should visually dictate to you, the player, the current and the way it's flowing, and I think it's very difficult to go against said current. That's alcohol. I can't exactly see where I'm going right there, so I'm just going to hang left. We have got to find some more supplies. Our supplies are not looking good. We're dehydrating. Right, let's head in. Oh, there's a campsite and a church. All right, excellent. We should be able to both stop here and get over to that campsite. Come on, Nago. We have surviving to do. Please get some cattail. Or just some breaded corn from somewhere. Now that's neither of the things I was asking for, damn it. Please. I am in desperate need of cattail. Rabbits, do you know where some cattail is growing? I am begging you. Where the fuck is some cattail? Why is there no damn cattail? 
Memory is saying that snakes tend to hang out in those red plotches. Oh, thank goodness, we can at least not dehydrate. Drink. Very hungry. Okay. I'm working on it. Alright, we got some garlic. If anything, we can just shove some garlic in our mouth later. Not very satisfying, but survival is survival, am I right? Seriously? Cattail! What? Why? There is so little here. Did I not search this? Yeah, I thought I searched that. Oh no, I had to search the other one. And that one's empty, because it's my luck. And... Holy crap, what happened to the sun? No, really. Oh, god damn it. It's another fucking storm. Uh, we need food, but we also need shelter. But we also need food. We do need rest. Uh, there is a campsite. Let's just try to get across the river to the campsite. Hopefully we can make that kind of turn and find somewhere for both to rest. There we go. Okay. Often has flint, always a lit fire. Sounds good to me. Flint and fire. Fire and flint. Flint and flint, flint and the fuckable fires. Fire, fire is good for us. Shut up, crow. Shut up. We need so many things. What do you mean I have an infection? And from what? I had ant stings. I got an infection from my ant stings. Shut up, crows. You know, life is hard, and, uh, is that cattail? Is that, no, that wasn't cattail. I know, dog, I know, I know, I know. But we're so damn hungry, I literally have to eat. I, I have to eat before I can even go to bed. Um, there's always a lit fire. Where's the fire? I don't think I can light it, because, yeah, I can't light it. Oh, thank goodness. A moment reprieve. Craft dry tender. Of course I can. Of course I don't even have what it has to, to, to get make tender. Because I need cattail. Like everything else in this world requires cattail. The entire world is built upon cattail. That thing that I can't seem to find a single goddamn piece of. I can't start fire. I can't make a fishing line probably. I can't survive <laughs> my inventory is foolish nothing to eat nothing to drink I, I I think I can eat raw yucca I think I can do that I can just eat raw goddamn yucca which I think at this point and I'll get food poisoning oh the garlic okay here we'll just eat a literal clove of garlic just just eat that there, there we go that'll uh, what is that? Gas bomb? I don't need a gas bomb. I need cat tail shot crow! Seriously! Why? Island after island after island with just no cat tail to be spoken of. We desperately need cat tail! And there's just none. And apparently I can't take that further. Guess maybe I'm full. Alright, well, we'll just sprint and cry. Because unfortunately, the game is just kind of saying fuck you right now. I, there really isn't a whole lot I can do to impact this. You know, we're, we're kind of at the mercy of, like I was speaking about earlier, the RNG. And right now, the RNG is just not in our favor. No matter where we go, no matter how many islands we visit, no one has cattail. And with that cattail, I can't even get my basics going. Just saplings, 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 dandelion, saplings. <coughs> oh good, and more ants that I can barely see. Nowhere. <coughs> Nowhere seems to have cattail. No, I don't need to sleep. I need cattail. 
I don't need sleep. I need cattail. I'm just going to die of starvation. <laughs> uh, I couldn't even light a fire, you know? I could not even do something as basic as light a fire. Yes, more rap schematics. Fantastic. Not a single island. I think since the beginning has had cattail. Just not sure what to do. This is why this game is just misery. Nothing, no, no amount of information or practice or skill seems to be able to impact anything because it's just not a very skill based game. It's just dumb luck. You either get what you need to survive, or you don't. I mean, this is a frigging farm, I think? <coughs> At the very least, we should be able to get some food. Corn. Something. Knowing my luck, there'll be a wolf on this island. Here's some corn. Alright, my inventory's full. I just told myself earlier to make sure to manage my inventory always. These damn rap semantics off me. Campfire that we're probably going to need to use in a second. Cook the yucca. Get that old lumber off of Daisy. She's just walking around with giant planks of wood on her back. That really makes me feel bad. Put those in that stack. Up, oh, those don't stack. Okay. I am... I'm going to eat these berries. Because my hunger is at actual nil. I think we can make something pretty nutritious with the corn. I think we can make corn cakes or something. Um, so we'll do that. Ash cake. There we go. I think those are worth a pretty good amount. We're just gonna need to start a fire. But first, let's look around for some oh-so-desperately-needed cattail. Shut up! This place is infested with crows! I hear a wolf. Shut up. Ah, ow! A boar! Motherfucker. Ah! Ow. Oh, it killed me. Fantastic. Yep, the flame and the flood, alright. That is what this game is. I tried to, like, get inside before it actually charged again, but... Yeah, cause of death. Gord. Ah, uh, well, I'll give it another shot another time. This is just, that was a pretty miserable run. Pretty, pretty miserable run. Can't. Yeah, they survived three whole days. You come into this world, you get no cattail, you get no food, you die a miserable death in a corner, sad, alone, and gored by a pig. Well, I hope that was mildly interesting to, to absolutely no one. Why, there, there is no reason to have found that painful experience interesting. Anyway, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye.